Well, January 2023, and we're already thinking about what we need to start sowing in preparation for this new season. And hopefully we're going to have a lot better weather than we did last year. But because it's pretty cold in January, you are quite limited to what you can grow for those first few weeks a year. But one thing you do need to think about is things like chilli peppers, bell peppers and your onions from seed. Because they're going to take quite a while and they all need a long growing season. So for me personally, in early January, the first thing I will concentrate on are those. And we'll be sowing those seeds and then we'll be bringing them indoors to germinate. So for the first video of 2023, which we're going to reapproach, is going to be the jalapenos or bell peppers. Just got my new seeds come, jalapeno. So I want to get some of them sown today. Start off by filling that with some compost. Just going to fill this up and then tap it down a bit. Now I've filmed that down, I'm just going to top it back off again. Let's get that watered in. So I'm just going to put one seed per cell. And what you want to do with these jalapenos and bell peppers, you want to soak your seeds overnight in some tea. That's going to soften the shell and they'll germinate a lot quicker. Some of these hot peppers can take like a month to germinate. But if you soak them in the tea, they could be up in a week. And make sure you don't bury them too deep. So now we've got all the seeds in, just going to give them a little poke down with a pencil. Make sure you don't poke them too deep. Just a couple of millimetres, fine. They do say the hotter the pepper, the longer it takes for the seed to germinate. So it's always a good idea to get these things as started as soon as possible. Because they do need a long growing season. So that's all then done. And now we're going to very lightly cover them. The lighter you cover them, the better. So if you have got a fine sieve or a colander or something, I would suggest using something like that. Because we need these to come up as soon as possible. And then we'll just water them back in again. Don't forget to put a label in them. Now when you want to germinate jalapenos or bell peppers, you can't do it in the greenhouse, it's just not hot enough. They need a consistent temperature of 75 to 80 degrees. So if you leave them in your greenhouse, even though it's very warm out here today, it's going to drop cold at night. And it's going to make these seeds take longer and longer to germinate, if they even germinate at all, because I've tried them in a greenhouse and nothing's come up at all. So ideally, you want to pop these on an heat mat if you've got one. If not, stick them in your airing cupboard and they will germinate in an airing cupboard. I've done that loads of times in the past. But if you try and germinate them outside in a greenhouse, you won't get anything. Pretty simple, straightforward job to do. But get them in now if you can. The sooner you can get these seeds to germinate and get them growing, the better. But don't forget, they're going to have to stay indoors for quite a while yet. And then you're going to have to harden them off as well. When you raise any plants indoors in a controlled environment, you can't just take them outside when it's time and pop them in your greenhouse. Or the shop will kill those plants. You'll have to take them out when it's warm enough for an hour or so a day, but not in direct sunlight either. Just to get those plants accustomed to that change in surroundings. And before you know it, you're going to be on your way to getting your first jalapenos or sweet bell peppers of 2023. And we'll do some like this and then we'll do another set 
in a few weeks time so we can maintain a succession of those plants all the way up until the end of October this year. So thanks once again for being part of this channel, it's very much appreciated. And if you've not already subscribed to this channel then please hit that subscribe button and press the notifications bell and follow us from January right through until the end of the season and you'll find lots of useful information along the way. Take care.